Welcome everybody to the Straight Shooter Wrestling Podcast. I'm one half of your host, Santi, and I'm here with Steve. How are you, Steve? I'm not too bad, buddy. It feels like forever since we've done one of these videos and just glad to be back, ready to go, get some content out, talk some wrestling. How you been? I've been good. Today we're talking Logan Paul, social media superstar, entrepreneur, brother of Jake Paul, and of course, WWE superstar. You wanted to talk about uh, about Logan Paul. Um, I think you and I have fairly differing opinions on Logan Paul, but I'm curious, what is it that you wanted to talk about today? Because you seem pretty adamant that we needed to make a video about Logan Paul. Listen, uh, Santi, we all understand why Logan Paul is in WWE. Don't take away that he's a great athlete or that he is a massive draw for a different demographic that maybe never followed WWE. My problem is I feel Logan Paul is taking, I don't see the benefit in Logan Paul going against superstars in the category of say Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, the guys at the top of the roster that have put in years upon years to go to events like WrestleMania and take that limelight. Seth Rollins is not a social media star Logan Paul bad bunny co- opponent. Seth Rollins is a main eventer. Seth Rollins deserves his WrestleMania, like his to to be the main event of WrestleMania. Yes, everyone can say, "Oh, he had his moment." No, he hasn't. His music has never played to start a match in the final spot of WrestleMania. It's never happened. And if it wasn't for Roman, Seth would probably be that guy. But to put him in a match against Logan Paul, I think is just disrespectful to Seth Rollins. And maybe we're not talking, maybe I'm not just talking about Logan. I'm just talking the overall influencer community, Logan Paul, Bad Bunny, um, the, the twins that go to Miami University that play basketball. I can't remember their names, but like they're always just, seeming to get into the spots that wrestlers deserve to be on and i just want to know your opinion on why first off and i want to know what everyone else's opinion in the comments is because right now i'm struggling to see the full benefit besides a different demographic watching pro wrestling yeah okay i i think there's a couple of layers to this so um you know I've always been very much pro Logan Paul and I'm still in that camp. I will say um, that I'm getting a little confused with how they're using Logan Paul because he's becoming the big show. Face heel, face heel, face heel, face heel. They don't know every feud. He seems to change, you know, where he lies in the morality spectrum of the world of the WWE. So I guess he's a heel now. So I, I'm a little confused when it comes to that regard with how they're using Logan Paul. But that's not Logan Paul's fault. That is how they are, I guess, billing him. That's how they're they're booking him. Um, but I think the benefit of Logan Paul. OK, so I, I hear what you're saying. But I also counter with the fact that the very first WrestleMania was headlined by Mr. T. So there is precedent that major mega stars like Hulk Hogan have shared and in, 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 in graced the ring with famous celebrities of their time. And celebrities have in many regards at WrestleMania held major spots within the card, whether it's Floyd Mayweather, whether it's uh, Donald Trump, whether it's Mr. T, Logan Paul, Bad Bunny. I think I share your concern with the fact that it kind of sucks that somebody like Seth Rollins, who would just be phenomenal with just about anybody, rather than using Seth Rollins to help elevate other talent within the WWE, he's being used to elevate nobody because Logan Paul doesn't need elevation, right? Logan Paul will always hold a high regard within the WWE brass because of what he brings to the WWE, which is eyeballs and, and popularity. Meanwhile, you know, there's guys like Gunther, Right. Who are super over with the hardcore crowd of the WWE. Imagine a match between him and Seth Rollins. So I get what you're saying, where there is a lot of meat on the bone with the existing roster of the WWE. 
And we're leaving a lot of that meat on the bone for the sake of uh, utilizing and trying to piggyback off the back of Logan Paul's popularity. So it's a catch 22 because both offer really great things to the world of the WWE. But you and I, I and I've stressed this before in a lot of our discussions and arguments, you and I fall under the one percent, the one percent that are hardcore, the one percent that want to see more pure sport wrestling. Right. The other 99% is where the money comes in. That's what WWE uses to feed their wrestlers. That's what the wrestlers use to feed their families. And Logan Paul helps in that 99 percentile. Yeah, and I'm not taking away from the idea of celebrity celebrities being involved in pro wrestling. It's always going to be there. It's always going to um, be part of WrestleMania, especially. And I, I'm, I accept that. I think maybe it's my bias towards Seth or the likes of Gunther or the likes of Finn Balor or guys that have really put in the miles on the road. They've given up a lot. And Logan just, you know, Logan was literally getting off a plane from Dubai. Um, When they did that segment, you can actually tell he was in an airport when they did that video call. Um, the thing is, it's just like once Mania is gone, Logan's going to be gone until SummerSlam. Yep. And then the story starts again for Seth, you know, and my biggest quarrel with this whole Logan Paul situation. Whoa, quarrel. Nice word. <laughs> wait till I get to it. My biggest quarrel with the whole Logan Paul situation is if Logan goes over at Mania. This will be, I believe, the fourth or fifth year in a row that Seth loses at Mania. And again, for someone that is the quality of Seth Rollins, that is that's hard to swallow. That's a that's a very hard pill to swallow. Sure. Um, I mean, none of us are Seth Rollins and none of us really know whether that's a hard pill to swallow or an easy one to swallow. Like, I'm trying to think like now, like, uh, you know, playing devil's advocate, what are the benefits of Seth Rollins having this match um, versus Logan Paul. And I think they are tremendous right now. A lot of people that do not watch the WWE will know who Seth Rollins is. A lot of people who follow Logan Paul on social media will see hashtag Seth Rollins and, and, and they can be talking about Seth Rollins outside of when Monday Night Raw is on. Right. It's just more eyeballs, which could then lead to more people seeing Seth Rollins, more people becoming fans of Seth Rollins, more people buying Seth Rollins merch Seth Rollins getting mo- movie roles things like that like I just this, this is this I, again like it's it they we we have to take the good with the bad when we when we get something like uh like Paul uh Logan Paul being served to us and um I, I I I've always been a proponent that we are getting more good than we are bad with 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 Logan Paul again I I hear what you're saying a lot of dream matches that we would love to have and see at WrestleMania uh with existing talent but, you know, the, the business guy in me is also like, well, like <laughs> it's kind of a no brainer. Like we're we're yeah. we're we're trying to create the biggest buzz. We're trying to uh, to to create buzz in the mainstream, not just the two nerds on straight shoot. Right. We we won. We won Molly and Joey and and Samantha that that have watched WWE maybe once in their life to become hardcore fans. Yeah. Right. They're not hardcore fans because they don't watch Monday Night Raw every every Monday, but they do listen to Impulsive. They are obsessed with Logan Paul. And if Logan Paul can drive those people to the WWE, all of a sudden Sally, Molly and whatever. I'm pretty sure I use different names the this, this, this second time. All of a sudden, those people now become lifers for the WWE. So I'm of the camp that still more good than bad i get where you're coming from it is one of those where like i'm like oh darn but again i i i try to look at look at it with a with a sense of realism where we are the one percent of fans and in yeah. in the long run in terms of benefits for the wwe a marquee with logan paul provides a lot yeah and again i i see the benefit i see the benefit for seth as well it's just one of those ones where i just wish Maybe I would be more over on the whole idea if it wasn't Seth. Maybe if it was like Dom or even Finn, even though I love Finn, even if it was like Finn Balor or some or even a battle royal that Logan came in. Yeah, and just 
But yeah, you know, you're right. Seth is a top three guy in the roster. You're right. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying 100%. Like SummerSlam against Roman? Sure. It's SummerSlam. But WrestleMania? That's... That oh, sorry. You meant Crown Jewel. Crown Jewel. Crown, Crown Jewel. Sorry. Crown Jewel against Roman. But WrestleMania is just a different story, man. So I just... Guys, you guys in the comments either... Give me more reasons why this is benef- a benefit or, you know, just throw a common Steve Ella. Let me know, because I made I wanted to make this video with Santi and get his opinion. We didn't talk about it much before we started recording, but I just want to hear it from you guys. Guys, my name is Mr. Tesh. This is Santi. Santi, where people, people find you? Twitch.tv slash Santi Zap or TikTok at Mr. Santi Zap. All right, guys, and straightshoot.locals.com is still a good big thing. Uh, we have a new interview coming up next week that I haven't told Santi about. Uh, and other than that, twitch.tv slash Mr. Tash. Take care, guys. Cheers.